Hi guys, I'm Trudy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about is college still worth it? And my simple answer is yes. I'm pretty sure we've seen those YouTube ads with people talking about how they quit their job, now they're making all this money, working less than 15 hours per week. Guys, don't believe the hype. Do not believe the hype. A lot of the courses that they're trying to sell you is based on upselling. And the little man usually don't make that much money. And if you do make any money, you usually have to sell a ton loan and spend more than 15 hours per week. In this video, I want to give you seven tips to help you make the best of your college experience. Now, these tips are in no particular order. Let's get into my seven tips. Tip number one, college is an investment. We should be looking at college as an investment. And with any investment, you're either going to gain or lose. With any investment, do your research, meaning research any potential majors you're planning on pursuing. If you don't come from money, then I'm assuming you're looking to gain from your college degree. Yes, we should do what we love, but we should also look at earning potential of the major we select. Tip number two, pay attention to the rich and wealthy. Now the rich and wealthy are unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the ones who set the trends in society. We should pay attention to their attitude towards college. Remember last year that big case where all those rich people were basically paying to get their kids into prestigious colleges that they weren't qualified for? Now let's ask the question, if college is not important, then why are rich people still trying to get their kids in at whatever means necessary? Do they know something that the middle class don't? Tip number three, stay in state. I get it. A lot of young people want to be liberated from their parents. And what better way to do that than go out of state? Now, what you should know is going out of state will cost you more intuition. Even public colleges will charge you more if you're out of state. While some out of state colleges might charge you, say, 75% more than in state, others will charge you over two times the amount of in state. So, what I'm trying to say is staying in state is a lot cheaper. And if you really want to leave the nest, then rent a room, get a roommate. So you'll have somewhat of that away from home college experience. Tip number four, choose public college over private. Apply to public colleges. I can't think of a major that will be offered at a private college that won't be offered at a public college. Also, if you're planning on going to grad school, it's better to go to public college for undergrad than go to your dream college, say for law school or med school at a private college. As we know, public colleges are a lot more cheaper than private colleges. Don't get overly excited about the fact that student loan will cover your tuition for private college. Because remember, in the end, you will have to repay that money. Tip number five, pick a good major. Now, majors are not all created equally. Some majors will set you up for a profitable career, while others will simply leave you with a massive student loan. I know a lot of people will say you should do what you love, but will what you love pay the bills? Will you be able to pay off that student loan? Students should be paying more attention to what they plan on studying. Do some research. The main reason we go to college is so we can enter the workforce and make a positive contribution to society. And unfortunately, some college majors will make it difficult to land a job. And you don't want to end up accepting a job that don't even require a college degree. Tip number six, don't fall for the big name colleges. No, I'm not trying to say some college don't conduct more research nor publish a lot more journal article. I'm not saying that, however, what makes a lot of these name brand colleges so popular is the financial backing they receive from their alumni. So they are better able to invest in high-tech lab and do more research. When you're researching a college, you should have an idea what measure you're planning on pursuing. And with that information, you can research the professional and accreditation organization and check if that college is on their accredited list. You will also be able to see all the public colleges on their accredited list. There's no need to pay for the name of a college when you could have received the same education from a public college. The key is make sure the college is accredited to teach the major. Tip number seven, apply for scholarships and grants. There are so many unclaimed scholarships each year. Because student loan is so easily accessible, a lot of students take the easy route and take out unnecessary loans. If you're not aware of where to apply, your advisement center is a great place to start. They are able to direct you or just do a quick Google search. It's so disheartening how many students graduate each year with useless college degrees along with high student loans. You should only have a six-figure student loan if you have a JD or a MD. 
Now this is a bonus tip. Let's talk about textbook, how expensive they are, and how frequent new editions come out. There are some topics that don't need to be revised every year or every two years. Sometimes what the author do is just switch on a few chapters and update the pictures. Now what you should do each semester is go to your college library and borrow both the previous and current edition of textbook. Then compare the table of content. Trust me, it won't take you 15 minutes. If you check and realize both the previous and current edition is quite similar, then all you have to do is go online and buy the previous edition. I can't tell you how many times I've purchased textbook where the current edition is $80 plus dollars and the previous edition is only $4.99 on Amazon. Trust me, this will save you a ton of money. Of course, the exception would be textbook containing new legislature or medical research. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with someone who you think it might help. Also, click the notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. I post a new video every Sunday. Also, let me know in the comment if you think college is still worth it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.